is Rona4014. Welcome back to another or how to episode. Today I'm in the vegetarian Minecraft world. Um in creative. I just did a video on it. Um for episode two of season two. Um I've been doing a little mining in that video. Sorry it was so short. I I would the third episode is gonna be a bit longer. Okay, so, um, today's how-to is how to make a, um, um, little, um, cave entrance to this area. So, here are the things which you are going to need. You are going to need smoke logs and, oh, hold on. Lan lantern lantern um to start so the first thing you're gonna do is build up this area kind of like this um or in the area you're doing it in um make it four blocks tall now, what you're gonna do is you're going to um, um, make a um, small entrance to the base or to your area. I s and instead of using that, you should use the um, um, six-sided version. Okay, so let's grab um. I'm just gonna go, oh. Okay. I know. Um. Let me do. Um, hold on. Let me just look quickly through these. Scroll through the block. Variance. Uh, you can cut. Um, third when I find it. Hold on. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Okay, let's. Um. Wait, maybe it's. I think it's in decoration. Yeah, it could be in decoration. Okay, we're just gonna have to imagine for now. I'll. Oh, wait. It was right, right there the whole time. Oh, hold on. Time. Set. Day. So let's add our blocks right there. Let's go. So it looks kind of like this. You're gonna pop your lantern in the middle, or wherever you want it. I'm personally gonna put it right there. Now that you have this, um, now this is just the entrance to my mind. Now let's make another entrance to the storage building. So, what we're gonna do, um, is clear out a bit of space where we want to build it. So we're going to, um, it's actually gonna be, it can be a little tricky to build at first, but, um, once you get the hang of it, it isn't that bad. Okay. 
we have one. Okay, we have a one block center. And place your lantern there. Um, I'm going now. You need to terraform. Terraforming is crucial to this build. So you're gonna terraform a little around it, make it look a little more mojane. Is that the word I want to use? Mojane? Mojane light. I'll, I'll put it that way. Kind of um, have it make it look like it blends in. It kind of. Yeah, that, that looks uh, not the best. Now you're going to, um, um, once you have done that, you're going to carve out the area that you're going to be. I'm just kind of doing this to um, make it work. I'm not gonna be, so this is just mining storage. So, and what you're gonna do is um, replace any, in your area, any diorite or um, um, anthracite or granite with just plain stone. Why? We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, except for that one grass block. Yeah, so why? Well, you are going to want to have a smooth texture for now. And I'm just gonna put this little gradient right there. Kind of block that. Now, you're gonna want to add that lantern there. Now, what you're going to do is mix in some anthracite, uh, cobblestone, that, those kind of blocks, and mix them in with the pattern. It makes it feel a lot more lively. Or is that the one word I want to use? Well, it makes it look a little better, in my opinion. And you can even make cool patterns with it, like this. So you're gonna kind of make these areas where there's um, anthracite and cobblestone, possibly even gravel, just no, not gravel on the ceiling. That's all I ask. You don't put gravel on ceilings, since it'll just fall. Same for sand, red sand, and anvils. I don't know why you would even put anvils. Okay, now that you've done that, going to grab some slabs some preferably spruce in my opinion as it looks excellent not seeing the other slabs don't look excellent just personally to me it looks very well it looks good like it's in a mine Kind of. Yeah, so we're gonna add like these little shelves right along here. Um, and we're on those shelves gonna put various stuff like 
barrels. You can put um barrels on there. I like to put barrels on my on my builds. Um to kinda make it look um well somewhere where you can set it. Hold on guys. I just messed up. Uh see even even us we um builders who been playing the game for a long time we even make mistakes it's normal okay our uh okay so let's place our barrel no right there like um our two barrels or a barrel here and a barrel there you can also mix in other things like um pots flower pots you can put flower pots in build like there um i don't normally use flower pots in my builds um because i don't really um build in this kind of rustic style. Um, but they actually, or well, not rustic, just in this style. But they actually look very nice. And, um, it wouldn't be, um, a uh, well, it wouldn't be, you know, Right without some flowers, and let's do um rows. Oh, I forgot. Roses are no longer in the game. Oh, yeah, I remember they replaced them with poppies. I wish they still had them in the game, but Poppy is very nice, too. Oh, you can't put two tall flowers in there. Okay, then I'll go... Uh... So... No, you can't do that. Um... Put... Day... Oxy daisy. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> and here you can store all your um, stuff that you need. Like if I go to my survival inventory, if I want to offload some stuff like I have, I could just pop it in here. And I'm not going to be that organized for this since, hey, it's just, yeah, you could mix vines, um, I, there, like this, and you can even put item frames on it, so, yeah, as the sun sets, hold on, let me, or, sun, Time set up uh, set day there. So, what do you think of this? Will it work for your base or will it not? Please let me know what I should do a tutorial on next. Oh, wait! Oh, my goodness! Hold on, guys. I forgot a very important thing. In order to get up to the... Or well, if you want to get up to the shelves, you need ladders. I almost said ladders. No, ladders. Not ladders. Ladders. Um, you can crawl in these... 
kinds of spaces if you put a trap door right on there. Yep. And anyway, you could imagine you would climb up and put something on the shelf there, kind of. Yep. Yeah. So there. There's was a lovely storage system and lovely entrance to your mine. Thank you very much for watching. And let me know, will this work for your base or will it not? Please let me know down in the comments about what kind of base you plan on building. And I might be able to do a tutorial to help you um do some details with it and i will be among helping tweak details with with a um shop in the test world until then i'm on a 40 14 goodbye oh and please let me know what i should do a tutorial on next and i might just pick you that's right, you. You you right there staring at the screen if you comment. I might pick you. That's right, you. Anyway, I'm running 4014. Goodbye.